there's not a lot of small game hunting that happens. Um, I there's think. A bunny. Where? Behind that last tree. Are you for real? Yep. You got him? Yep. Smoked. Oh, oh yeah, how you doing, bro? Oh, what's up? Good morning, horses. <laughs> oh, just the way I like it. If you don't drink your coffee black, get your panties out of your crack. Listen, man, I don't. Well, what in the heck is going on over here, dude? That was pretty good right here. Hey, that's my yard. My moat, ladies and gentlemen. Alligators come in next week. Back to the black coffee, guys. I preach it a lot. But if you're gonna start your day with coffee, don't fill it with freaking sugar and creamer, dude. That's just horrible, man. I know a lot of people are like, well, I just can't drink black coffee. Yeah, because you were raised on eating Flintstone gummies and sugar and sugar and more freaking sugar. That's why you can't like it, man. Drink it black. You'll never go back. Also, go outside and get that circadian rhythm going and soak up them gosh dang rays in your face, even though you can't see. It's good for you. Let's start the day. Yellow, what's cracking, folks? Good morning. On the agenda today, I gotta go look at the El Camino. A couple videos ago, I showed y'all that it wasn't running. Gotta figure out and dial in what the tits is going on with that thing. I gotta get that thing running. I expected to drive that thing every day. It was gonna be my daily driver. I love that gosh dang thing, man. I spent enough money restoring it, but I ain't done much with it. And it's just sitting in the garage and I'm getting some work done on the outside of my house and it is just freaking, it's, just, I, oh, you reckon I'll just show y'all, man. I'm embarrassed. Absolutely just embarrassed by this, y'all. Good God, man. This is my front yard right now. The reason why all this needed to be done is because, well, winter's coming, the snow's almost here, and I had no grass. It was basically like this before anyways, and in the winter time when it snows, it gets so muddy, the dogs go out there, so I wanted to get the sod done before it started snowing like crazy. So this is what's been going on with it, man. So yeah, that's basically what it's been doing. I think it's something with the MSD ignition coil that's in here for some reason. Well, I'll just show you guys right now. It's it's not flashing the lights, it should be. Here's my MSD ignition. Coil's back here. This is what I think I might be having an issue with. Could be something with the distributor and the wire, something like that as well, but, well, let me just show y'all. Watch this light right here. Flashing? Yep. Yep. So this is the blaster coil from MSD. Uh, I'm gonna pop this some bitch in there right now and see if this does a difference. If it doesn't, then it might be something with the distributor cap, wires. I'm hoping this blaster coil does. take this guy off first so we can get back here it's so loud out there right now i closed the garage door i apologize man i'm just trying to make digits dude and they're just being so gosh dang loud out there it's like they're they're trying to work hard it's freaking stupid uh. <sighs> 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 He's working landscaping now, man. So I hired him and his buddies to come out here and do the rock in the side of my front yard. It's starting to look good, man. They're blowing all this rock off to make it look clean. But uh, as far as the El Camino goes, I'm waiting to hear back from Dang, because he's more of a professional than I. It might be the cap and rotor, I don't know. So I'm gonna ask Dang. Boom, all right guys, so check this out, man. Uh, rabbit season just opened up, and I got a tits ton of freaking cottontails in my yard. So I'm getting ready here to shoot some gosh dang rabbits, man. So what I got here is my small game head. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. I would always keep one or two of these in my quiver 
uh, when I'm sitting in a deer stand just in case I see a squirrel or a rabbit or something that I can shoot at a close distance. 20 yards on a rabbit. I'm gonna aim for the head. Save as much meat as I can. See if this thing flies straight. I don't think I've shot with one of these on in years. Oh yeah, that's beautiful right there. That thing is going to be brutal. Oh my gosh. Yeah, isn't that thing crazy? What? I thought the, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Pretty that cool, That would definitely eh? kill a cottontail. And you ain't never had a rabbit in your whole life, have you? Nope, and I could probably go the rest of my life with that. <laughs> nah, man, nah. Rabbit's good. It's never been something- Your husband, your husband will make it taste good, I promise you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What? It bounced off. Oh my gosh. Yep, I think that'll take a head right off. Bright and early, 7 a.m. Just woke up. I'm hopefully gonna get one or two here. Make a nice dinner. I see one already right over here. It's, at, it's right at my 20 yard door. Rabbit for dinner, baby. Oh, yeah. I'll go grab that sucker. And then we'll go try to find another one. Thank you, little cottontail. You're gonna be good eating. Lucky Lipper helped me out, man. Mm. Good old morning, Lipper. Oh, but what I've been seeing, especially like out here in these western states, man. There's not a lot of small game hunting that happens. Um, I There's think a bunny. Where? Behind that last tree. Are you for real? Yep. Okay. You got him? Yep. Smoked. Well, as I was so rudely interrupted, <laughs> like I was saying, I think a lot of people need to small game hunt more okay we've got a lot of cottontails in colorado a lot of these guys and nobody hunts them there's a lot of open access uh, public lands that you can go hunt these guys on on your private lands um, i'm doing mine with a bow i mean there's so many different ways and they're good eating man they're just like chicken just a little gamier everybody wants to talk about deer everybody wants to talk about elk everybody wants to talk about moose uh, and pronghorn uh, you know the big game stuff but dude the small game stuff is almost easier access they're easier to get it's like almost better meat squirrel is one of my favorite meats ever i love to fry up squirrel it tastes exactly like kfc man fried squirrel and mac and cheese is the bomb.com just telling y'all man get out there small game hunt if you can it's worth it i'm telling you it's a good intro into hunting as well if you ain't ever done it I think we need to get this thing running and wash it. Look how dirty that thing is, man. It's embarrassing. So probably next couple videos we'll be getting that going. I'm gonna have Dan come over this weekend and take a look at her, what he thinks. He thinks it's something with the wiring. We gotta figure it out. But the biggest takeaway from this video, get out and hunt, man, even if it is small game. That's one of my favorites of all time, man. But if you do, I hope you learned something today, and that is to eat it. Eat it all and look up recipes, man. Eat it all. This is what hunting is about, man. Hunting is not about killing an animal and just like, oh, it's camaraderie and no, you know what? It's not, okay? It's about eating the gosh dang animal. Have some gosh dang respect. Keep it, Billy.